seen this fan in one of my restore videos a while ago. This was at uh, Appleton Restore, and I got it along with the uh, antique uh, preheat shop lights that um, are now in the metal metal pad, which yeah. I got to go there and do a video because I haven't been there since he added them. Yeah. Um, I have a ton of these, actually. I have probably a half dozen of these total. And my goal, for those who've seen the 12 Wings videos, I used to work... Uh, I used to work for this place called 12 Wings that was uh, owned by a church that I worked for called Now Faith Ministries International. And 12 Wings was like a multi-use facility that had like banquet rooms and other daycare, cafes, a whole bunch of different stuff in one building. They had a salon too. They had a salon, yeah. They had a lot of stuff in, a, in one building. And um, the upstairs that became the main banquet room, originally when, it, when I first saw it, and it had a low drop ceiling, and um, I was gonna knew I needed to put some fans in it, but this is before we came up with the idea of use ceiling pockets. I was gonna do a mass install of these, uh, just on the ceiling with no pockets, and have the down rods be above the ceiling and have the tops of the motors be flush with the tiles. That was my original plan for 12 wings. And um, do me a favor, pull that pull chain four times at the four speed. So we'll start it on low. High, medium, low, second low. 0.23, so it's kind of high for a second low. It's yeah, higher than they some still go lows. very slow, which is That's true. awesome about these. Yeah, the, the, the low is quite slow. Yeah. yeah, I do have this in uh, antique brass. It wouldn't be the exact same fan if it's an antique brass. It would either be a Lasco or it'd be a different Emerson version. Probably be a Lasco. It's you, have, uh, it's you have one of these with the uh, dropped fly over too, right? Me or it's metalless? Metalless. Uh, the, no, uh, it's actually, no, no, it's this exact blade mount. Oh, is the, the sideband is plain then. Yeah. I don't know if I know the one you're talking about, so you'll have to show me. Um, because I know it's, you have a Lasco. Did yes, it, it, it is it, a Lasco. Okay, this is an Emerson. Oh. Second low is point three seven. Yeah. And this, because mine is a four speed. I know. This one. Uh, they've so, Sears sold both at the same time. Emerson oh. made the. Uh, made the brown and the white ones, and Lasco made the brass and the anti-brass ones, and eventually oh. Lasco also made the brown and the white ones. Hmm. Um, and I think early on, Emerson made a brass version that uh, did not have a ornate sideband, it had a plain sideband. Uh -huh. 0.61 for the medium. Uh, the Emerson version is a little bit better quality, but they're all actually good fans. The Lasco ones are good, too. Oh, yeah. Um, and... So, uh, yeah, point six is where we let, right, land at with medium if we want to turn it to high. I had one of these in my parents' rec room for many years, and I loved it. It was the perfect rec room fan. Now, it was the last go there, ironically, point nine five. But this one, it's uh, not a K55, is it? KB55. Oh, a KB55. Yeah, the last go version uses a skeletal motor. Which one is that? Point nine three, the one you have. It's a skeletal, skeletal motor is like a spitter motor that's not in a casing. Hmm. It's the, the windings are exposed. Okay. And then the rotor is cast. All right. Um, but it's not in a casing. All right. And uh, I don't know why we consider them to be better than the spinner motors because they're literally a spinner motor with less materials. But at the same time, they always they almost always tend to be good motors, whereas not all spinner motors are good motors. So maybe that's why. Yeah. Okay. Well, point nine three is where we land at there. Oh, did we do an airflow test? Did you guys want to? No, I Because you know what it is, it's a KD55. Yeah, yeah, that's why we were thinking of it. Yeah. Now, where's reverse? On the top. On the top. Ah. Uh, we well, can use the uh, uh, big crate, or I can hold the phone stand, camera stand, for uh, a little bit. The KB65, KB55s often have very long spin downs, don't ask me why. I used to think, of, oh, they have good bearings, but I found that uh, the, fact, the factory condition of the bearings often has very little with spin down, you know, it's usually other materials and other things. The Lasco ones also have a very long spin down, though. You ever get that Airmaster working, speaking of bearings? No, I haven't even messed with it. I don't know okay. if garage lately. I haven't even been doing that. I, I want to know more about uh, the garage project with the ring fans and everything, but I'm sure some of that's still a secret until it's done, so we'll talk about that off it's, camera. It's not even like a secret. I don't even know yet. <laughs> I'm excited though. I'm, I think I'm it's just really trying cool. to get the garage done and then worry about all that. So you're so that you're doing other things in the garage besides yeah. fans and lights. Well, yeah, I, I'm putting walls up. Uh, I'm gonna spackle them, paint them. Really? What are the walls for? Well, I mean, you know, just drywall. On what, the ceiling? No, there was drywall on the ceiling, but there wasn't on like the sides, sides of the house. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a 
almost leave it because you have more places to store things with no drywall. Well, you have insulation there. Ah. Yeah. So it's not the, it's the outside walls that don't. Yeah, it, it just looks better. And okay. I thought about doing that. Uh, if, 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 if the outside walls aren't uh, aren't drywall, then you want the insulation for the winter time. And that's, yeah, that's there was cool. insulation, but you know, it just kind of started falling out after like thirty something years. So no walls. Okay. So I decided to finish it up. You guys want the blender fans? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to come down and visit you sometime, and uh, uh, and and either help with the project or just see it in video when it's done. I briefly had one need to install my kitchen. They are Where good. They're a good fan of the very traditional looking kitchen. Where are we at in the pull chain? Uh, high, probably. Medium, low, low. Yeah, there you go. Point two three again. Yeah, I, I think it was only in like a day or so. And then, I don't know, I just, it fe I felt that. I felt like it dated the kitchen a little too much because it's more like oak and this has yeah. blades and there's no you, brown. You, either this fan is going to date a room or it's going to fit in a very dated room. Yeah. And there are there are places where both of those things are good. It was great for my parents' rec room. It fit in perfectly. In in my music room, this would be a great fan if it wasn't so common. I obviously want something a little bit less common for my house because I only have a limited number of installs. Let's see, I want to move it up. Um, but uh, point three seven. Um, but yeah, I mean these are awesome fans. Yeah, there was a restaurant here in town that just went out of business that had one. Uh, of these installed called New Orleans Takeout. They have another location that has a hunter um, that's still open. Um, and uh, I would have rescued the fan if I knew about it, even though these are common, just because they're cool. Um, point nine five. Are we all the way to high now? We skipped medium. Did we? Oh, we might have. Point five nine for medium. We're going to take a dive. And. Um, yeah, point nine five. Yeah, this is one of those fans where you just can't have too many of them. I agree. I mean, I would love to do a mask. They're, they're one of the fans to me too, that's that's cool enough by itself, but like not like cool like oh my god, bedroom install, living room install, cool unless it's the perfect fan for the room. Why are you moving it? She left it on high. Oh, yeah, right. She'll take it back to high, and I'll turn it off. But like a mass install of these would be like the coolest thing ever. You know what I mean? Like, if you could have three or more installed somewhere, like in an in a old school restaurant or bar, or... Um... Alright, you wanna... Alright, you're okay. good. I'm just making sure it's set to high. Yeah, okay, by just reading the meter right there. Okay, so, uh, let's see where it starts. One. Two. Oh, no, three. Three should start, yeah. And it's drawing point one five. Four, point two. Is that what it did on low? No, it was like point two three. Okay, I'm at point two on four. Okay. So that's I wasn't sure if I was close. It's five point two six, so just a little bit over uh, what its low has. Right. But five is kind of this is a standard low on a wall control. Six point three three. That's what it did on medium low. It's point three seven on medium low. Okay, so seven is point three eight. Okay, eight is point four five. So that's a little higher than uh, nine point five one. Ten point five seven. Twelve point six two. Thirteen point six seven. What was it on uh, factory on the? Medium high was, yeah, like 0. 0.67. Okay. It was a 0. 0.59. Now I'm mixing it up with another thing. I think it's 0.59. Yeah, it's 0. 0.59. Okay, because I'm at uh, 0. 0.67 on wall control medium high, like 5, 8, 13. Yeah. Well, Emerson wall control will be 4, 7, 11, too, although I don't know if they made a capacitor-based wall control at this time. I don't think they did. I think all the wall controls were solid state this time. By the way, Tommy, that reminds me, uh, for your garage install, you need like a massive solid state control that can operate four fans at once. I'm going to do two and two, so like over by the workbench, I'm going to do okay. two okay. fans and then. Point you seven, might even be able to get away with capacitor based controls for two and two. For the small ones, maybe. The big ones are just slow, slow fans. Have you tried it already? Yeah. Well, I tried with the Tads. I don't know. I haven't tried with the Daytons. Yeah, the Daytons don't. The Daytons might work with that. Also, I think a lot of times an A1220 is good for putting two fans on one. 
Where are we at, your medalness? Oh, uh, 15 with 0.75, 16.79, 17 with 18 18.83, 18.86, 19.89, 20.91. So, so we're awfully close. We are, and uh, no uh, wall control is dangerous for this fan, so. is to, you know, live at home as long as you can because you'll save some money, but pay your parents something even if they don't ask for it, even if it's $100 a month, because you never want to get to a point where it's like, you're living here off of us and all these fans, and you know what I'm saying? You know? I've I've been trying to keep it kind of my own control. era, yeah. yeah. But even so, I mean, if it's, it's not your own era if you don't pay the rent or the mortgage, yeah. you know what I mean? And and again, most parents will be very open and kind about it. Point four five. Living room quiet at this point. Like basically, point five five. Again, louder. Basically, your fans point ended six, up just six. migrating to my room. He's holding. Did I? I wasn't sure. Yeah. Point nine on solid state. Is that is that living room quiet or is that too noisy for living? Too room? noisy. Too noisy. That definitely is. Yeah. Too noisy. Restaurant it's quiet. Got, it's got a buzz. Okay. Did we do a zero to high? No. Let's do a zero to high. Yeah, that's just my advice. Again, if your if your goal is to take a year off, then I wouldn't worry about it. And there's nothing wrong with taking a year off. Is, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with with just choosing to work and go into a trade or something or you know career instead of going to school if that's what you want to do. Six. But uh, yeah, if you're going to be longer than a year, offer them something even if they don't want. Point nine six. That's okay. That's about as high as it did before. Point nine four. It should drop to point nine three. That's what it, yep, point nine three is the final draw. Okay, guys, well, I think now we're, yep, we're going to start the good stuff, because we're down to 98.6, which is the exact temperature of a human body, for those who don't know. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to start the good stuff. So, um, not that the new fans aren't the good stuff, but, I mean, the old fans, but we don't get new new fans as often, so. No. Uh, okay, well, let's stop the, the video stopped? No, no, no. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 